Hi. Um, what's the problem, Ben? Hello. Hiya. Hi. Can you hear me? What's yeah. the problem, Ben? Hi. I've been with my boyfriend for two years, but he's a teacher and he's not out, and our life is so difficult. We live together, but I have to go out of the house first, and he follows me. Mm. And I love him very much, but it's just causing so much problems for us. Because it's putting a strain between you? Yeah, that's right. And would you like him to come out and be able to be open about it? I just want him to accept what he is. You know, his family don't know about it, you know. I, I know his mum and dad, but they want him to ask, why haven't you got a girlfriend? His yeah. he, uh, peers at school ask him the same thing. What that, about... That hurts me. Of yeah, course. What about you? Are, uh, are, are yeah, you out? I, I'm out. Right. Um, and, and the people, the, the people around you, your friends or your family or his colleagues, does does anyone? Do you think that anyone would have an, an issue? No, I, I don't think that anybody would, would batter an eyelid. But he, he, he is petrified. A few weeks ago, we went to the cinema, and he saw a pupil. He actually moved seats away from me so we couldn't be together, oh. and that tore me apart. OK, well, Denise, this is a really difficult situation, well, isn't it? here we've got a situation where that partner is living in a previous age because life is not like that now. You can't deny your sexuality forever, and nor should you have to. No. And he is afraid of something that, in fact, doesn't exist. And the only thing that I can suggest is that you get him to talk to people whose word he will accept. You can't go on like this, and you shouldn't have to. He isn't being fair, but he isn't being fair because he's afraid. And you've got to, to help to lift that fear off him because it's, it belongs to a bygone age. He's well, you just, living in the past. You it's just now. wonder whether uh, either his family, obviously we don't know his family, what the circumstances are, whether it's one of those things that... Uh, can I ask how old he is? He's 28. So, so do you think that it would be one of those things where he would come out to his family or his work colleagues and they would go, yeah, well, we sort of figured that, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, do, do, is it completely and absolutely hidden from everybody or do you think once, it's, once he comes out, if he were to come out, that they would say, yeah, well, we know that? Me, personally, I think everything would be OK. But to him, it's his biggest fear. What's he every so time I confront him, yeah, he what, says, uh, you can do much better than me. Like, I'll leave you. I'll, I'll let you be happy. But it's Holly. With him. Holly what's just so said, afraid? "Yeah, why is he? What's why the is worst he that can happen? What does he think?" He thinks that people will judge him. They'll, they'll, they'll ignore him. He will get grief from his pupils at school. He's, he thinks his family will totally disown him. He's petrified. He's. A f you've got to help him get through this fear. And the people. We will put you in touch with the people who can help him. But there's one thing I must say, you can't live like this forever. And there may come a time when, you, when he has to say, this has gone on long enough, because it's your life. You're having to live in the shadows as well. He's choosing to live in the shadows, and he's very wrong. And I hope perhaps if you've taped this, you can show him and say, this is how strongly I feel about it, and this is what everybody... You know, mm. we're almost shocked that well, he's thinking no, like no that. There's no question. You've got to be realistic about it. I mean, he's a teacher, so he might get a hard time at school. Uh, that, 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 it, I think many people who've come out say that yeah, often and hopefully mostly it is... Uh, a, g a great revelation. We've t discussed it here before. Uh, to yourself, you suddenly realise what life can be. But on the other hand, that there are going to be moments that are not going to be as easy as you would like them to be. Yes, but I think that the fear he's living in, having to move seats in oh. a cinema, not being able to go out of the front door together, so he lives worse. a daily torture. Mm. So nothing that can come afterwards, and I don't think in this day and age it would be really bad. 
nothing that comes after can be as bad as what they've got now. No. And he really needs to do but something But he's also about got to know that, you know, with someone as, as loyal and loving as you, that it's not one of those things that he's going to do himself. They'll, he'll have you by his side. Also, think of the example he'll set to his pupils as well. There'll be children there that'll eventually go through the same thing as what he's going through now, and they'll go, I remember that teacher at school that came out, and it made my process yeah. so much easier. Mm. Are you recording this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. I, I tried that. He picks up everything. If he has a homophobic comment at school, he will pick it up and use it as a negative. Mm. He never uses a positive. Mm. So this is what happens. Well, whatever he's thinking, this situation can't go on indefinitely for your sake as well as his. No, so it, let it, us it, let it us know me. how things let us know how things go. Yeah, and uh, and once again, stay uh, stay on the on the line, and and we say we'll put you in touch with for anyone who's watching as well. We will put all the details on the website. Yeah. It's yeah, just great, it, it, if we give incident information uh, here, we tend to shut websites down. So that's <laughs> why we try to do it in a you know in a sort of a, a linear fashion. Um, um, good luck. Look okay, after yourself. You. Take right. care.